Good morning. Welcome to this worship service for the ninth Sunday after Pentecost, August 2nd, 2020. We worship as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thought since it's such a beautiful day outside, I would record this outside. Let's begin with our confession and forgiveness. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now silently confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your spirit so that we may serve you, live and serve you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, cleanse, strengthen us with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in our hearts through faith. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, your generosity waters the whole world with goodness, and you cover creation with abundance. Awaken in us a hunger for the food that satisfies both body and spirit, and with this food, fill all the starving world through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our first reading today is from Isaiah 55, verses 1 through 5. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come, buy, and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that you do not know shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, or the Lord has glorified you, for the Lord has glorified you. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Our psalm today is Psalm 145, verses 8 through 9 and 14 through 21. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Lord, you are good to all and your compassion is over all your works. The Lord upholds those who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and loving in all your works. You are near to all who call upon you, to all who call upon you faithfully. You fulfill the desire of those who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You watch over all those who love you, but all the wicked you shall destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless God's holy name forever and ever. Our second reading is Romans 9, verses 1 through 5. Paul writes, I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms it by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow 
and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Our gospel today is from Matthew 14, verses 13 through 21. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus heard about the beheading of John the Baptist, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a deserted place and the hour is now late and the crowds send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, we have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, 12 baskets full. And those who ate were about 5,000 men besides women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Yesterday morning, when my husband and I were finishing our walk, we saw our neighbor's three-month-old golden retriever puppy named Goldie down the street. It is the cutest little fluff ball and so friendly and happy all the time. He was down the street busily sn sniffing some new scent on the ground. But when I called out, come Goldie, he perked up his ears looked around, saw me, and then just came running towards me, a little furry body with this little cute little smiling face coming right to me. He came right to my feet and laid on the ground, and I don't know who enjoyed that more, me or him. He was so cute. He heard the word come, and he came running. The prophet Isaiah tells all to come today. Come eat, drink, enjoy, come listen. God is always inviting us to come. God sustains us with food, just like God sustained the people of Israel with manna and water from the rock. God opens wide God's hands and satisfies the desire of every living thing. Hunger and thirst have a solution in God. God feeds us at the Lord's Supper with the body and blood of Christ so that we will never hunger or thirst again. I don't know what you're hungry for today, but whether you're hungry for food or hope or the bread of heaven, God will satisfy you. Just as he did when he fed the thousands with five loaves and two fish. Amazing that that little bit could feed thousands of people with 12 baskets left over. Wow. Whenever we are having a dinner and it feels like there's more people than food, I always think, oh, please, God, you know, multiply this, <laughs> this offering of food. And then it feels like the, the uh, feeding of the thousands because it just seems to go and go and go. So I'm just so thankful that God blesses our offerings to provide for others so that we can give them something to eat. Come. The invitation is for you and for me and for all people. When we hear that invitation to come, let's perk up our ears and run as fast as we can, excited about what may be in store for us at God's hands today. Amen. 
Confident of God's care and upheld by the Spirit, let's pray for all who are in need, responding to the words, Lord, you are good to all, with the phrase, hear our cry and save us. O God, our Savior, bless your church around the world, where believers must be isolated from one another, be present through your gracious word. Give to bishops, pastors, deacons, and other congregational leaders wisdom for their tasks in this challenging time. And be with congregations that they would be fed and nourished through your word. Lord, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. O God, Redeemer of all, bless all the Jewish people with your covenant promises. Bring an end to anti-Semitism and strengthen ties of cooperation and friendship between Christians and Jews and Christians and other faiths. Lord, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. O God, creator of a wondrous earth, protect the glories of your seas and lands. Replenish groundwater supplies, refresh lakes and ponds, Send rains when there is drought and shelter forests from wildfires. Protect our lakes from all the invasive species. And we just thank you for this glorious, beautiful summer day. Lord, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. O oh God, sovereign of the world, from the leaders of nations to uh, form the leaders of nations to strive for justice for all. Guide our government in dealing with China and other leaders. Strengthen the world's democracies. Bring an end to systemic racism. And help our elected officials know how to govern with wisdom and integrity. Lord, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. Oh God, you are the storehouse of goodness. Visit all who need your healing help today. Be with those who are dealing with COVID-19, especially those living in close quarters. Be with all of our residents and team members at Cassia. And be with all who have no home and suffer in the heat. Give us, O oh Lord of life, a vaccine. Assist all who face evictions from their homes. Visit those who are in prison. Bring wholeness and healing to those who suffer in body or spirit, especially those we lift up to now out loud or in our hearts. Lord God, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. Oh God, giver of bread, teach us how to feed the hungry. Help children living, starving in war zones. Be with families who cannot afford groceries. Shelter those who are homeless on our streets. And give hope to farmers devastated by pestilence and drought. Give to all creatures their food in due season. Lord, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. O oh God, lover of our souls, receive now the petitions of our hearts and intercede with us, for us, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we now lift up our thoughts and hearts to you. Lord, you are good to all, hear our cry and save us. O oh God, everlasting mercy and source of eternal life, we praise you for the lives of all who have died in the faith, especially this week, Dominic, and all who, like, like him, preach your word with power. And at the end, bring us with all your saints to your heavenly banquet for, for the feast that has no end. Lord, you are good to all. Hear our cry and save us. In the sure and certain hope that nothing can separate us from your love, we offer these prayers to you, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O word of God incarnate, O wisdom from on high, 
O truth unchanged, unchanging, we praise you for the radiance that from the hallowed page, a lantern to our footsteps shines on from age to age. Amen. And now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. So now go in peace, love God, love your neighbor. Thanks be to God.